Hey guys, Katsuma Gaming here. Before I actually start with the video, I just want to quickly mention that I currently cannot edit videos properly on my PC, at least for today and like most of tomorrow. So if the video is a little bit scuffed and I don't cut out all of the hiccups, I'm sorry for that, but I want to get this video out before the new banner drops. And yeah, that's right. Even though the current banner is still lasting for another 10 days, if you check the quest set, you will see that the current event will actually end rather quick and yeah sorry the audio was a little bit loud um and that of course means we get a new event and we get a new bundle with that and i seized the upcoming unit a lot before i talked about it a lot but i still want to go through all the important details so first up who is coming potentially why this unit is coming what's so special about this unit what the unit can do and last but not least should you summon for this unit and not including the tier list ranking so let's start off with a simple question who is actually coming and if you don't live under the rock i want to explain a little bit here sorry for that but when this unit dropped in the jp version the konosuba spin-off was airing at that time aka the megamin spin-off and you probably heard it before that i talked about it but we normally are supposed to get a free Megumi, we are normally supposed to get a few other goods. We're still waiting for news uh, from Sessisoft how we get them, but I expect we get them eventually. But to celebrate the new anime season, on the Japanese news version, they announced that we are getting three new playable characters. And we all know the first one already is Claire, so the second one fitting with the spin-off was probably a unit that appeared in the spin-off. That unit is none other than. Da -da 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 -da. It's of course Funi Dodo. That's right. Funi Fura at the Donku are coming to Kunosuba Fantastic Days global version in only a few more minutes. Let's quickly talk what the unit can do. Then we talk about why it's special. And then last but not least, if it should sound out or not. First up, it's a limited unit. I will talk about it in a second. Passive trait is it boosts um, her magical attack up by 6% and gives a 10% ulti damage bonus, which is really, really good. Her skill, uh, her basic is of course an elemental basic as usual for mages. Her first skill is an AoE magic attack skill that deals 155% damage. That gives your party 10% gauge charge and a tier 1 fire elemental buff for your whole team for 14 seconds with a 25 seconds cooldown actually quite long i know second skill is a random double hit that deals 151 percent damage two times but it also provides a tier 2 agility boost for your whole team and it applies a tier 2 magic defense debuff on the enemy as well so not only do we have a unit here that can provide speed, she can also deliver the enemy's magic resistance, which of course works great for magical teams. She can also provide fire damage bonus and she can provide gauge jump. Already pretty pog, right? Let's see what her ulti does. And yes, you see correctly, there's only one ulti and that is a AOE magic attack fire ulti that deals 245% damage and of course max affinity that provides AOE tier one rash red and five seconds of cdr and the rash red lasts for 12 seconds so in herself she already has a five second cdr i'm not really sure if it's five or six i think the five seconds here might be wrong i need to double check that uh but yeah something like that which means of course the downtime on her skills is pretty pog like the moment you get your ulti off in a proper rotation you can keep up almost the buffs on itself sure uh the fire damage buff will not be up there the whole time but you know the moment you have any bodo cdr which is doable on fire 100 especially in mage teams and especially with what's coming in the future spoiler alert but in the future we are actually getting a lot of really really good mage fire units so um that's just the start here but in itself this is a pretty solid kit now let's quickly switch over to the Japanese version so I can show you a little bit more off and explain a few stuff here, right? So first up, here is what the character selection screen looks like. And a few things that you can notice here is first up, they have of course their own affinity food. They have their own shards, but you can see on the right, they only have 
five general and eight weapon shrines to unlock. So that means, as you'd probably know, um, she gets the stats bonus. She gets the stats bonus from the weapon, but there is no shrine for ulti one version two, and there are no shrines for an ulti two whatsoever. So you know, a little bit less than Claire has. Claire at least has an ulti one version two. She doesn't have that. And also, if you paid a really good attention and looked above the shards, you can see a 12 out of 12 there, general. Yeah, she pretty much works like any other collaboration unit there. As you can see, Amelia has 8 out of 12 shards. And that's the same here for Funny Dodo. By the way, there will be more shards in the Japanese version compared to Global. So Global only have, of course, normal 6 when she drops. Uh, 8, sorry. So um, there will be just 8 out of 8. But, you know, as usual for a collab, one shot boots all elemental damage by 3%. And, you know, the other shots just have to times four multipliers on them to make it more in line with what you expect from the unit okay here it's times three but you get a point right she really acts like a call-up unit in disguise <laughs> which is really really funny because she kind of is a collaboration unit it's kind of of a collaboration with the kunosuba spin-off so think of this as a kunosuba spin-off call-up unit um but thankfully, Kurosuba is the game's IP already, right? So, unlike normal collaboration units, she is not gone forever. She is limited, I talked about that before. And what that means is, you can pull her if she's somewhat featured. Otherwise, not. And with somewhat featured, I mean, she will have her initial banner with Raid Up. She will be pullable in the future from every fast banner i believe she should be in all future fast banners to grab there and last but not least like normal units she will actually have a proper birthday banner where you have a solid chance of getting her so that's a pretty good thing but i think her birthday is around october if i remember correctly so that's still a few more months until the birthday happens and i'm not really sure if we on first year actually get a proper birthday banner with the full raid up or if there's like then a banner where like other crimson girls can appear in there and it's lower chance i don't know we will see how this is will handle it but just for you to information or keep in mind if you skip her or if you don't get her you will have a chance to grab her in the future off raid from other fast banners or worst case from her birthday banner which is probably the best chance to get her if you missed her because again i think she has the one percent normal rate for new units there as well so that's a pretty good way to grab her i think this hopefully should explain all the stuff about her um one thing that i forgot to mention here is since she kind of acts like a collaboration unit unlike claire all the other units that you normally know she actually does not have any other units than her four star there's no one star there's no two star of her and of course there's also no three star of her you can see claire and after there we're starting off with collaboration units. so she literally only has that one four star unit, aka pretty much like a collaboration unit um so I'm still confused why they actually decided to give her own, you know, shards and her own bond food. But I guess to differentiate her a little bit more from collaborations, then again, collabs also have their own bond food. So, y you know, whatever. Um, one thing that I want to share really quick um, for people who are curious on how you can actually get shards from her besides pulling. If we take a quick look into the smith, and by the way, if you don't know, you can just select one of the four star weapons. Select the first crystal. Select all the other crystals here to be able to skip every, every expert quest stage. And, well, some hard quest stages or free quest stages, depending on the events currently going on. And if I scroll down here, you can see that as actually one stage, chapter one, uh, four, one, two... That has a chance to give you funny dodo shards. This is so far also the only stage you can get the shots for. So, you know, <laughs> um, 
getting shots for her might be a little bit hard but luckily for us at least in global we don't really have you know collaboration units that can or that need our adventure shots so i think she's actually a pretty great um place to dump your adventure shots in i think there are also step up banners that can give you shards and bond foods for her like what what i did with claire right so that's also a possibility but of course that takes more quarts that potentially can take some paid quarts so um you know up to you if you really want to do that or not i don't really know right now if there are any other good banners out there that's like worth it yet um so if i see the banner and if i check through it and think something really really cool is there i probably try to let you know um but for now this is i think the only thing i can say towards banners now with that all of the way let's go back and see how do i rank her i mean you can already see the number one in fire mage team that you know pretty much hints that she's really really good for mage teams and with that to i think no one's surprised she's in the meta units on element here and this sounds a little bit weird but she actually gets better over time i mean if you think of all the fire mages that we have right now we have fire megumin right we have christmas witch which was like not used for a long long time we have that summer vineyard that was used maybe once so far and uh, that's pretty much it right so um when she drops the best team for her are actually megumin vanir and wisp because we don't have anything else but only a few more banners ahead we are getting detective union which is a great fire unit we are getting forbidden union in the future which is a really really good fire unit and a few others that just make this team even better i mean fast comico is coming as well that's not a great fire unit um trying to remember which other fire units are dropping I, I don't get it in my head but there's a lot of fire stuff coming so yeah fire will be more mage centered mostly or at least if you have to choose if it's of course mage block and you need to run a physical team fast erica fast lisa are still great units but meta is shifting for fire at least into more of a mage centric team and I'm all in for that. And of course, that also means, luckily, for all the people who don't have the veneer like I do, or people who don't have Christmas, which with, yes, people exist out there who don't have that. <laughs> I know that. Don't worry, while you potentially can't use her for a full potential on the first arena, I back then actually used, I think, Christmas with uh, when he do it on just Fess Aqua for the CDR and Gage Up to spam the ultis, which were great, to be honest, were actually pretty great. Um, don't worry, there will be other better fire mages rather sooner than later in the future. So if you can snack them, you're good to go, right? But um, I think this should hopefully be everything. Um, so if this video helps you out, like, subscribe, comment for more. Let me also know, do you pull on this banner? Are you skipping it? What other banners you potentially are interested in? Or are there any topics you would love me to cover in a video? I'm down for ideas. I have a few on my head, but they take some time. But again, um, I'm not sure if I said in a YouTube video or just on the streams. I will hopefully get a week off sooner than later. And in that week, I both try to actually stream a little bit more and try to tackle a few big topics that I teased before, um, like actually updating encyclopedia a bit more, um, potentially working a little bit more on the elemental tier list for the global side, do some other stuff that I talked in the upcoming content tab, like for example, an updated manual guide, like an updated beginner guide, and maybe a team building guide as well. We'll see how much I can do, but there's a lot of stuff coming. So um, again, if you wanna see that stuff, let me know in the comments. If you wanna support what I do, again, like subscribing also helps a lot. Commenting helps a ton as well. And if you want to do a little bit more and even support me more making cool guide stuff, there's also the option to become a YouTube member to get awesome benefits like early access to videos, a special Discord role, or even a shout out, depending on the tier you subbing. And the first tier is literally 99 cents. It's, it's, I can't make it cheaper than that. I'm sorry. But it's still a great value, I think. Otherwise, of course, subscribe on Twitch, follow there. We're close to 500 followers on Twitch. And I really hope I can break it sooner or later. That would be really, really pog. 
or you know there are donation links down below like the coffee link for the encyclopedia or just the normal donation links to support whatever kind of work you want to see more from me any support is appreciated so thank you so much for watching and good luck with your summons sorry again for the little bit scuffed video no outro here but um yeah see you all in the next one bye